Breaking news from East Terrace County this morning, the shutdown of Interstate 10 at the San Jacinto River. Yeah, that bridge was hit after nine barges just broke away from their moorings. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli live on the scene for us with the very latest. Vince, good morning. Andy Tanaya, good, uh, good morning, guys. I have an update for you. At least two barges are still stuck under the San Jacinto Bridge behind me. Check it out. Authorities have blocked off both directions of traffic as they continue to assess the integrity of this bridge. It was stop and go, then stop some more for drivers near the San Jacinto Bridge this morning. This is like the third time this bridge has got shut down in the past eight months. Today, here's the reason why. Take a look at these splintered concrete columns. Authorities say at least two barges that may be carrying hazardous material struck the bridge, which shut down, and traffic piled up. The worst part about being stuck in traffic is not being able to get where you need to go efficiently. The Coast Guard says around midnight, nine barges, yes, nine barges broke free from the San Jacinto River fleet. At least two barges made their way down south and crashed into the bridge. We need to build a bigger bridge, taller. TxDOT says Imelda's wrath hammered the area, causing water levels to rise and strong currents, which prompted the barges to break loose. Authorities don't know how long the bridge will be closed, but some drivers are keeping a positive attitude, even in this traffic. I don't think it's too bad considering what we've already been through in the last two days. I mean, another big problem adding insult to injury. Textile workers cannot inspect the bridge right now because the water level is still too high, so officials can't give us any kind of timeline of when this bridge will open back up. For now, reporting live in East Harris County, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.